Hello, my name is Barbara Berzina. I am from Institute of Solid State Physics, University of Latvia. Placed in Riga, capital of Latvia, which is middle of the three Baltic states. As you see, it is very far from Brazil. Today I would like to tell you about recombination luminescence and in pure and docked aluminium nitrates. My co-authors of this uh, research is Dr. Lima Trinkler and our young physicists Richard Ruska and Jan Schicka. Here is outline of my talk, but I don't stop on it due to economy of time. We are studying solid state white band gap nitrates, oxides and related material. Aluminium nitrate is one of them. Today I would like you to tell about our studies on a synthesized aluminium nitrate which contains several native defects and to the aluminium nitrate which is doped with europium and manganese. For these materials we have studied photoluminescence and excitation spectra within a wide spectral and temperature range. Valid uh, methods are for us are regular luminescence and thermal luminescence. Our long-time investigations allow proposal that aluminium nitrate possesses the properties of persistent luminescence materials, which are very interesting uh, currently. We are trying to verify this proposal. The aim of the present investigation is spectral characterization of wide band gap material aluminium nitrate which contains solely the native defects or is docked with rare earth or transition metal group ions in order to reveal the luminescence processes and mechanisms together with clarifying the defects which are causing the luminescence. Aluminum nitrate is simple white band gap material with wurzit crystalline structure. Band gap is 6.2 electron volts, which is determined in both experimentally and theoretically. Different forms of aluminum nitrate is available including macro powders, macro sized ceramics and others and nanomaterials. In this for this investigation the following forms are used. Aluminium nitrate nanopowders with grain say, size of 16 nanometers, ceramics, ceramics docked with europium and nanopowders docked with manganese. Let us examine the main defect types which can be responsible for luminescence in aluminium nitrate. They are so called point defects and the most important, important of them are nitrogen vacancies then aluminium vacancies depicted on this defect scheme, then interstitials, and then anti-site defects. Besides 
substitutional impurities also is possible caused by oxygen ions substituting for nitrogen as well as carbon ions also substituting for nitrogen all these defects are forming so-called native defects in material besides different dopants are also possible such as manganese terbium europium ions substituting for the aluminium special interests can be paid to the nitrogen vacancies forming so-called f centers in aluminium nitride lattice there is variety of uh, f center times possible in this material shown on this picture all these defects are forming their energy levels within the conduction and valence bands of these materials and these uh, different defects are widely studied uh, at different uh, theoretical works shown on this scheme let us briefly examine the possible mechanisms causing the point defect luminescence Schematically, uh, schematically, these mechanisms are shown on the energy level scheme. There are depicted energy level scheme of two defects, A and D. There are their ground state energy levels and excited state energy levels. The first luminescence mechanism is so-called intracenter luminescence when absorption and emission occur within one and the same defect more complicated is recombination luminescence in forming of this mechanism at least two different defects are involved in this case they are defects a and d there are two options for this mechanism the first of them is so called tunnel recombination luminescence in this case after exciting of defect d the tunneling occurs either from excited states of defect D to the ground state of defect A with luminescence emission, either from the excited state of defect D to the excited state of defect A with proceeding luminescence of defect A. Thermoluminescence and optically stimulated luminescence are variations of recombination luminescence mechanism. Special case is persistent luminescence which can be related either to variation of interacting defects or can be caused by thermoluminescence processes when shallow traps for electrons or holes are feeding the luminescence center. Now the experimental part of my talk is reached. The most important luminescence native defects in aluminium nitride are the oxygen-related defects and the F-centers 
based on nitrogen vacancies. The oxygen-related defects are usually present in each of aluminium nitrate formations. These defects are luminescent and widely studied, beginning from Slack, Youngman, Harris and others, including also our investigations. At present, the structures of luminescence defects are related to aluminium vacancies, oxygen ions substituting for the nitrogen, including sometimes also nitrogen vacancies. The most important spectral characteristics of these materials are the following. It is seen that under UV excitation, a wide and complex photoluminescence band appear, appears, um, appears at 400 nanometers. This material contains also manganese, mangan, uh, unweighted impurities, manganese ions. The defect induced excitation spectrum also forms a wide band um, from 240 to 280 nanometers. It was uh, <coughs> shown that oxygen-related luminescence in aluminium nitrate is caused by recombination mechanisms, and the interest in luminescence is not observed. The luminescence spectrum shown on this picture is the same as the photoluminescence spectrum. A long-lasting afterglow of 400 nanometer luminescence is observed in both. For photoluminescence under 216 nanometer excitation and for rengenoluminescence observe, uh, shown on this picture. Another type of luminescent native defects are based on nitrogen vacancies, which are observed in aluminium nitrate nanopowders. We have studied this luminescence and the following results are observed. A wide and complex luminescence band appears at 415 nanometers. This luminescence can be excited with UV light from different spectral regions, which we name 1, 2, and 3. Detailed studies of uh, luminescence allow determination of luminescence mechanisms, which are dependent, as you see, from exciting light. These mechanisms are the intracenter luminescence mechanism related to the first excitation region and then recombination mechanism which is taking place when uh, luminescence is excited from the second spectral region, which also is covering 250 nanometers and 270 nanometers. Please pay your attention to the fact that it is the same spectral region observed for excitation of oxygen-related defects. We have studied also the luminescence mechanisms 
in aluminium nitrate ceramics docked with europium ions. As is known, europium can be incorporated in different host materials and is widely studied by numerous authors due to large-scale applications of luminescence materials based on uh, europium. Our material is aluminium nitrate ceramics docked with europium and luminescence spectrum under UV irradiation are observed on this picture at room temperature. In luminescence spectrum, two luminescence subbands appear. One is placed of 530 nanometers and could be related to europium 2 plus ions and the other one is placed at 600 nanometers and can be related to europium 3 plus ions. The excitation spectra for these luminescences is seen on these pictures. Analysis of spectral results obtained allow revealing of luminescence mechanisms. Rengenoluminescence spectrum of europium docked aluminium nitrate ceramics was measured and it consists of the same two bands at 600 and 530 nanometers. For this green luminescence, the luminescence afterglow was studied. It is seen that this luminescence is long-lasting, persistent luminescence, having a remarkable intensity at the moment of one hour, passing from seizing of Rengen rays irradiation. We have also studied luminescence processes in aluminium nitrate nanopowder doped with manganese ions. The main results obtained are coincident with those observed for aluminium nitrate doped with europium. For aluminium nitrate doped with manganese, in photoluminescent spectra, the 600 or red luminescence band is observed. There are two spectral regions for excitation of this red luminescence. Two luminescence mechanisms are revealed. One of them is so-called intracenter luminescence and other one is a combination luminescence mechanism. Excitation for recombination luminescence mechanism is from the same spectral region as previously observed luminescence covering 215-218 nanometers. Rentgenoluminescence spectrum is shown here and the same 600 luminescence band is observed. And long lasting afterglow for this luminescence is shown on this picture demonstrating the persistent luminescence properties of aluminium nitride manganese material. Persistent luminescence 
of photoluminescence of aluminium nitride with manganese was observed previously by Japanese physicists. Now we can summarize the main results and conclusions. Luminescence mechanisms for various luminescence centers in aluminium nitrate host material were studied, including different defect types such as the oxygen-related defects, nitrogen vacancy-based F centers, europium and manganese ions. The intracenter luminescence mechanism in Aluminium nitride was observed for all the defects mentioned above except oxygen-related defects. It was found that each of the luminescent defect types in aluminium nitride mentioned above is participating in formation of recombination luminescence which appears when material is excited by UV light from the spectral region 250-270 nanometers. The defect types responsible for this absorption region in aluminum nitrate at present are not determined. Tentatively, we are relating them to nitrogen vacancy type defects. Persistent luminescence properties of aluminium nitrate material based on the recombination luminescence processes are observed. I would like to finish my presentation showing you some pictures from Riga the capital of Latvia. Here you see them. Thank you very much for your attention.